Hi and welcome to Buff's Vintage Bikes. Inspired by Andy from Bike It UK and RJ the Bike Guy, I decided to try my hand at creating some videos of my restoration projects and sharing them with you. This will be a two part video on the restoration of this handsome. Bike maker Gotti Hansen got together with Etienne Somajai and Handsome Cycles was born. Handsomes were produced in South Africa from around 1984 until the late 1990s. Many of South Africans top cyclists raced on Handsomes at some stage in their career, including the likes of the late great Alan Van Eerden, largely regarded as one of the best cyclists ever to come from South Africa. Gotti's tubing of choice was Reynolds, so most of the Handsomes are built using Reynolds tubing. Before a bike gets into my garage, I'll give it a good scrub down. The product I use here is called Prepsil, which is a degreaser. Strangely enough, it actually doesn't degrease. It gets rid of oil and dirt. But greasing bearings remains intact. What I like about it is that it's biodegradable. So I can use it on the lawn without fear of my grass dying. Then I can rinse it off with water and generally I get very good results. I often use it to clean my motorcycles as well. So once the bike is relatively clean, it's off to the garage for a full strip down. At this stage I'm still not sure what tubing was used on the bike, as I can't find a tubing sticker anywhere on it. But I'm guessing it's probably Reynolds 501. I'm hoping nothing less than that. Maybe 531 if I'm lucky. I currently have a 531 Handsome in my collection. So I'll compare the two frames, get an idea. The group set is Shimano XH Sport, which is generally reserved for the lower end of the bike, bikes in the range. It's also got a steel seat pillar, which is a giveaway as to where the bike will fit in the range. Still worth preserving though, and uh, worth putting a bit of time and effort into. I noticed while doing the editing of my time lapse that my dog Tyson has made a guest appearance, clearly aiming to be a future movie star. So once the strip down was complete, I made a start on the frame with a cutting compound to get rid of some of the rust spots. I never got very far with that as I ran out of compound and I never had any polishing wax. So once I've stocked up on that again, we'll make another attempt at it. I'll get to that in the next video again. Then it was on to the handlebars. As the previous bar tape was in a terrible state. After taking it off it left quite a bad sticky residue. So I used some paraffin to get that off. If you've got better advice as to what would work more effective than paraffin, please add it to the comment sections, I'd love to know. Then I polish it up using autosol. Fortunately the centre portion of the bars never had any bad scratches in this instance. So all that was required was a good polish to get a great result onto the bars. Next up to get some love was the seat pillar. As I mentioned earlier, this particular seat pillar is made from steel as opposed to the normal alloys of most uh, bikes. Due to the fact that it's steel that picked up quite a bit of rust over the years and was showing its age, I used tin foil rolled up into a ball with a bit of WD-40 or Q20 sprayed onto it as a lubricant and then I made a number of passes over it to get rid of the worst rust. This one needed quite a bit of attention, not visible in the, in the videos but it took a couple passes to get it as, as clean as what I wanted and then afterwards it was back to the autosol to get the shine onto it.
the brake hoods on this bike were in shocking condition. Besides being dirty, they're also rather sticky. Definitely showing their age. Spent a lot of time outdoors. I had to be really careful with them because they wanted to tear. So I couldn't take them off to do the clean on them, so I just left them on the actual brakes. Yeah, I was using Handy Andy, a local product which is ammonia based, to do the cleaning on them with a Scots Brite pad, rubbing it rather gently. But I've since found out that ammonia based products on rubber is not always the best idea and it'll continue to, to leave it sticky. So if you have any advice on what to use on these hoods to make them less sticky, um, please mention that in the comments as well. Once done and dry, I dust them with baby powder and I do this repeatedly just to keep the hoods, the stickiness off of the hoods. But generally if you're riding the bike again and you're sweating or, or it's hot, the stickiness will come through on it. Finally for this video was the cool stem, which was looking rather scratched and banged up. Fortunately it was just black spray paint rather than black powder coating. Of course a Scotch Bright wheel made short work of cleaning it up. Then I took some wet and dry water paper and worked through the different grades, getting rid of the worst scratches that were on it. This took about four passes with different grades of paper before I was pleased with the result. Then it was onto a polishing wheel with some autosol. Two passes with autosol, and I finally got the result I was after. So, if you enjoyed this first video, please like and subscribe to my page. It'll give me the motivation to produce fresh content going forward. Finally, the little bolt and goes into the cool stem. Got some attention with the copper wheel. It was quite badly rusted. Final cleanup inside the Allen key recess was done with tin foil and a little bit of WD-40. Super pleased with the final result of that cool stem. Till next time, see you in the next video.